Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and it's Dehydration Friday once again. Now, before we get going on this video, I want to make sure that everybody understands something. When you go shopping during your week, on your weekend or whatever else, and you see that your store is running a good sale on either frozen vegetables or canned vegetables, maybe you don't have a lot of room in your freezers or you're running out of room on your shelves, make sure that you still purchase those good deals because they're not going to be around forever. They've already talked about how prices are going to be going up and they're raising prices on a lot of goods from anything from diapers to coca-cola so it's all been all over the news and everything in between okay folks so if you run across that great deal make sure that you have a dehydrator it is one of the best ways that you can do this you can dehydrate any of your foods and this way here you can store them if you want in your mason jars or better yet, store them in Marlar bags with oxygen absorbers because this way here you're going to save a lot of room and a lot of space and you can just store those right in your closet, an empty box, a tote, whatever it may be. So this past week when I was at the, the food store, they actually had mixed vegetables, bird's eye, okay? Buy one, get one. How can you go wrong? So today on Dehydration Friday, we're going to be doing dehydration on mixed vegetables. Now I've done like peas and corns and carrots and all this kind of stuff. So today we're gonna to do the mixed vegetables because I've got them on a deal. I don't really have a lot of room in my freezer. So we're gonna dehydrate these down. So this way here, I got to maximize on the deal. The buy one, get one. And I'm still putting stuff away for a rainy day. So hold on one second, I'm going to adjust the camera and get you over here so you can see me fill the trays real quick and we'll get dehydrating. Stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to start with our bag of mixed vegetables here. Now like I said before, I do take mine out like 10 minutes beforehand. Uh, if you notice, some places and some sites, they tell you to thaw your vegetables first and everything else. I haven't really had a problem. I, I just add maybe an extra hour or so. Let me just pour these bad boys on here. Now if you get clumps like this, you want to just take and, and see once you let them sit out for 10 minutes, they just break right up. And once again, make sure that your hands are clean. If you, uh, if you wish, you can wear gloves or anything else. This way here, you're not contaminating your food or anything. And just spread those bad boys out on your tray like so. It's a pretty easy process, folks. I mean, it's just, but this way here, you can, whenever you run across a good deal in the store, you really don't want to pass it up because Lord knows how long those good deals are going to be around since they've been talking all about raising all the prices of all our food products. Like I did say, you know, I mean, they're talking, they're raising the price of diapers, everything. So I'm going to finish fin uh, filling up all these trays and stuff, and I'll be right back with all of you. Okay, look at that, folks. It's looking really good, huh? All right, so I got four trays. So I'm going to take and start loading these bad boys up, putting them right on there. A couple of stragglers. And see, it's just, you just take and load them right on there. Like I did say you break up any of the big chunks. Set a dehydrator. The golden time is 125 degrees. And we're going to start with nine hours. Supposed to be between eight and ten hours. Throw our 
I went on. And for a dehydrator, this Hamilton Beach is pretty quiet. So, I will catch you all in a few minutes once these are all done and we're going to get them all sealed up and put them away. Hey, so we're back and guess what? Everything is done. I mean, just take a look at all those bad things. See how they just shake right down? And just shake those suckers right out. I think you guys see me do this enough. So you know what? Let's just do this really quick, huh? Watch this. Well, there's two trays. What do you think? Maybe we'll go for one more. And there we go. So now, we're just going to lose a little there. And... Voila, folks. Just remember, if you guys are out shopping and you run across some great deals or one of your grocery stores out there has a buy one, get one, you know, hey, you might want to try picking some up. I mean, there's three bags of mixed vegetables all fit into the candy jar. Actually, there's a little bit of room in there, you know, and I'm going to take a vacuum seal those bad boys down and stick them in the pantry. But the moral of the story is, don't just look for the frozen stuff. Look for the canned goods, too, because this way here you can dehydrate them down, save a lot of space, and pack them right away. You can do them in your canning jars. Marlar bags will probably be the best if you're limited on space, folks. So there we go. We had four trays, 125 degrees for 10 hours, and they are done, ready to be packed away, and ready for that rainy day when it rolls around. In this way here, you have something good to uh, eat that you can put in any types of soups, stews, anything else, and you're good to go. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on Dehydration Friday. I hope everybody learned a little thing or two, maybe three. And this way here, you can keep preparing because you want to keep preparing. You want to keep stocking up because prices are all on the rise. It's all over the news, folks. So do yourself a favor and get out there and start hitting some of the sales and stocking up. Buy yourself a dehydrator, dehydrate it down, get your Mylar bags, and you can store that stuff anywhere. You can put it under the bed, the closet, and totes. You can do anything with it, and it takes up little or no room. So this is perfect for people in small, areas and small apartments small town homes anything of that nature you don't have a lot of space it's a perfect way to make sure that you have some food that you can eat that you can pack away that's going to last you 15 years or plus at least if you put it in a marlar bag with an oxygen absorber so once again thank you for joining me today on dehydration friday and until next time i will catch all of you on the flip side. Till then, keep prepping. Hit those stores. Buy one, get one to your friend. Remember that.